Hey everyone, Mike here, Mike's House of Mods. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I do a bunch of modifications to my uh, Saturn Sky. Uh, but a lot of these modifications could be for any kind of car that's out there anyway. But uh, today's video, I'm actually going to do something a little bit fun. Uh, I am working on a turbo build. If you've uh, noticed the, uh, the videos beforehand and the charge pipes that I got are black, you know, I actually kind of want to change them to red. I uh, like that red and black look. So I need red charge pipes and um, that's what I'm going to do now. First thing I gotta do, however, is uh, strip the black off the old ones, and uh, and then I'm gonna paint them. But let me go and show you real quick the uh, the product that I'm using to strip the paint off. I've already done the one charge pipe, just want to make sure it works, and it works very well actually. So I'm gonna um, show you what I'm using. Works really cool, and show you what I'm doing. Okay, first thing I have here is the uh, clean strip maximum pr uh, sprayable stripper, and I will put a link to uh, below in the uh, the comments. I guess the real key to it is it's a non-methylene chloride formula so apparently it's uh, better for you as far as um, toxic kind of stuff cancer kind of stuff I have a, um, a paintbrush and you can see I have a black paint because I did the one charge pipe already uh, this particular kit came with a spray bottle as well I got my goggles here and I got my respirator thing here and my gloves as well and I already have set up right over here the charge pipe I'm using my uh, floor jack uh, to kind of hold it up here and got that all covered so none of it gets on there but here it is here the charge pipe it's already black and you can see the blow off valve is still on there um, I'm going to double check to see I know I could take it off but there's uh, I'm checking with the guy that had it before me what he used to seal this I'm not sure if he used a silicone or a gasket or, or whatever so but stripping the paint off I'm not going to uh, worry about this at all I can go all around it and because it is going to be used with a brush so that's no big deal uh, when I spray paint it that might be another story but here it is, and um, you'll see how easy it is for the uh, this old paint to come off. Okay, so I'm basically going to be using the uh, paintbrush to paint the stuff on, which also takes the paint off. But first, I got to go to put on all my stuff. So here we go. It looks uh, pretty darn good actually for how fast it was to uh, take this paint off of here. Now there's still some um, little bits of it and whatever. I'm going to get some steel wool uh, to get the rest of it off of there. But it looks really good. So um, that's it. That's pretty uh, pretty easy. Very quick. And that stuff actually works pretty good. So I'm gonna, next thing I'm going to do, like I said, get some steel wool, clean the rest of it off of here, and then start painting. All right, it's time to start spraying these charge pipes. And I got the one set up over here already. But I actually am using a uh, Rust-Oleum uh, paint that is a uh, paint and primer built in. It's for wood, metal, plastic, more, all that kind of stuff. I got it in the nice uh, red, bright red, uh, which should be similar to the other stuff that I have in my engine. And um, I got my pipe over here. Let me kind of show you what I did. I'm using my floor jack. I got it all covered. And I'm using the, um, the handle for my floor jack to kind of hold it up here. Uh, finally got a nice day that's not too windy and hopefully this works out really well so it should drive quickly and um, this one will be done and you can see I actually have taped off the ends as well because these are what's going to be going into the coupler uh, so I figured I'd try to make that as clean as I can so the paint all isn't going in there to get a nice seal and I did the same thing on the bottom as well so uh, I'm going to go ahead and start spraying this bad boy. All 
tight. The first coat is on. I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes and uh, come back and I'm not sure how many coats it's going to take. Obviously, I got to get some of these. Uh, I can kind of see them on there. Some black spots off that are they're on there that I couldn't get off be from before, but I think these are going to look really good once it's done. All right, it's looking pretty good now. Nice and smooth, low, nice and glossy so far. This is only the second coat, I've got more to do. Uh, there's certain areas I could hit a little bit more than normal, but the key for me is to not get any runs. And as you can see with the way I'm spraying it, I'm just doing one really quick, going up, you know, going up and going up. Uh, real quick, not too, too close to the uh, actual pipe itself, because uh, that's usually what causes runs. And then you want to keep that gun or your spray can, whatever you're using, uh, moving at all times. That'll keep you from getting runs. Knocking on wood because I don't have any yet. So anyway, I'm gonna let this coat dry and I'll just put as many coats on there as I need to to make sure it's all nice and uh, the same color. All right, so here I am ready on day two as far as painting these uh, charge pipes. The first one was on the hot side where the uh, actual turbo is. That turned out really, really nice. And now I'm gonna be doing the cold side uh, that goes into the um, intake. So um, I gotta show you what I got set up here. Again, using the same floor jack as before, and I left the blow-off valve on there. I just kind of taped it all off, uh, along with the, um, the section where you put the mass airflow sensor and the ends as well. So I'm going to do basically the same thing as I did uh, yesterday. Get this thing painted, and they will be done and ready to install. First coat's done, looks pretty good. And uh, obviously you see a bunch of flaws and stuff like that, but you get that on the first coat anyway. So, probably be putting, I don't know, six, maybe even seven coats on these things by the time it's done. And uh, it'll be good. So here it is, it is all done, and it's uh, pretty much dry now. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit more. Anyway, but I think it turned out really nice. Again, the, uh, the key to getting a nice smooth finish without any runs is just keep the uh, keep the sprayer or the can moving. Don't kind of stop it in one area and uh, keep it moving quick. So I think this is gonna look fantastic as far as the charge pipes for the turbo, and can't wait to get them installed. All right, so that wraps up this video on painting the charge pipes, and hopefully uh, you learned something from it. I know it's not that difficult to do, um, <clears throat> but hopefully it showed you something. So uh, if you like this video, please smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit that little notification bell, and then that way you'll see anytime I come up with more videos. I have uh, more coming up that's gonna continue with my uh, 2.4 liter turbo build, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.